Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are gonna go over six things that you can do to your truck right now, super easy. They're each under $30. They're gonna make such a huge difference for your comfort, safety, and versatility of your truck. These things are really easy. They're all under $30, so stick around and check it out. Okay, all these things we've been put on a F-250 2022, and you can put these on just about any truck. Um, there are things you can do right off the bat. Uh, well, I'll leave links to all these products uh, down in the description area. The first thing we're gonna start off with is kind of a safety thing. Um, I replaced the fog lights and these things with LED. This is not a platinum or a series or anything like that, so it doesn't have the fancy LED headlights and fog lights, but the fog lights we replaced with LEDs. And I wanna show you how that goes real quick. And they're super easy. All you have to do is get up underneath your truck, um, you know, find the fog light. There's a, a little clip that you just have to pull back and then you pull down to the wire and disconnect it. Once you've got that done, then all you have to do is twist counterclockwise and pull out and the light comes out. Then you put the new one in, rotate it clockwise, plug it back in. That's it. And these things make such a huge difference. Take a look here and you can see the difference between the uh, regular uh, LED and the regular lights. The LED is much brighter. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the uh, LED fog lights being off and on. And as you can see in this little video, uh, you can see the side of the road way better. And uh, like if there's deer or something fixing across the road, you're gonna know it before uh, you know it winds up in your grill windshield. So uh, any extra light will help. You know, it's not blinding people. Nobody's flashed me with their with their high beams or nothing like that. You can also buy the LED lights for the front here for the headlights too. But those are a little harder to install because over here where the airbox is, you do have to take that airbox out to get to those headlights. But it just takes a few more minutes, which is super not too not too difficult. So the next thing that we're going to go to, you know, we're starting in the front, we're going towards the back. Next thing we're going to is right in here, center console. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these things. Um, it's just a, basically a cover that goes over your, your center console. There, I found this out when I first got my F-150, I don't know, four or five years ago. And, you know, I'd get back in the truck and I'd have grease on my elbow or something, dirt or something, you know, fish grime. And uh, Kim was cleaning it and got tired of it. So I looked in the head like a neoprene one. But this one is like a kind of like a faux leather and it just slips right on. And it'll save you from like having to clean that thing, especially if you go to resell it or something like that. You just pull that thing off or if it gets nasty. I like we have dogs in the, in the truck too sometimes. And, you know, they scratch at it and leave marks. These things will protect that and make it look nice. If it gets tore up, less than $30. Easy to fix, easy to replace. Um, it'll save you. So then going here to the back seat, the next thing I have in store for you, I'm like, this has become so handy and I put it in every truck I, I've ever owned now. So uh, let's take a look at that. And here we have the netting. It's awesome for, you know, putting in groceries or anything. You don't want it sliding off the seat here. And I just have it mounted behind the seat belt so that it can still be used. You put plenty of stuff in here and you don't really feel it uh, when you're leaning against it. And just have it secured with these little bungee ball straps. One up here. And then come down here, get another one attached right here. Just loop it on. It's perfect for keeping stuff stored. Simple, easy, freaking cargo net, couple bungees, and uh, you know, you can put grocery bags, nothing's falling down to the front. If you don't want it to, you know, you wanna leave it up in the seat up there, that's where it's gonna stay. So that's very handy. And I must say, uh, you know, a few bucks, definitely worth it. But all right here, moving on to the back, um, tailgate. Uh, unless you have an automatic one where you have to hit the button and it goes down and stuff, 
these things will just flop right down on you and we're going to talk about that all right guys one of the more annoying things i completely forgot about about with my f-150 is this i i forgot those things don't come with a gas strut i put one on my f-150 several years back and you know it just comes down super smooth and easy and that's what we're going to do today too and this one here is only like uh i think like 25 bucks or it was under 30 dollars so and i think it comes with all the tools you need and it just mounts right in here and i'll show you how to do that real quick all right this bolt does not go in here because it could make come in contact with this. I forgot they gave you another like pan head bolt that goes in its place. Just lift this up. Look. Slip that up and pull that out. I got a power one, so. Just pops on like that. There you go. Simple gas strut, super easy to install. Doesn't flop down on you anymore. Goes down nice and smooth. Won't hit you. I'm like, it's totally worth it. Super easy to install, a couple bolts, unbolt, bolt back in comes with a tool you don't have to have power tools it just makes it easier so then we're moving on to the next one here uh i'm assuming if you have an f-250 you're probably towing something so and if you if you have one of these newer ones you'll know that the hitches are freaking horrible you can hardly get chains and stuff in there so um you may may or may not have seen these things before but I got these hammer locks. These are the half inch ones. They're good up for 12,000 pounds, which we probably won't be towing anything over 12,000 pounds. So they should be plenty good. They, they make ones that are thicker for, uh, you know, that are higher rated, but our boat right now is only about five, boat and trailers, probably about 5,000 pounds. And uh, we're planning to get an RV and probably keeping it under 10,000 pounds. So these should be plenty good and they're super easy to install. You just clip them together and they have a, a little ring that you slide the pin in and then you hammer it in to lock it in. Hence, hammer locks. So, super easy to install, useful. You can just clip, you can just clip your chains right on, super easy. And they don't rattle, make any noise that I've heard yet. But uh, under, those are like $24. Once again, the links are in the description. And this last one here though, um, it doesn't, it's not for safety. It's not for comfort. It's just purely aesthetics or anti-aesthetics. Um, I hate every time I get a, a new vehicle and they got those big freaking antennas that are whipping around. So we got this thing. Um, you can see what shape it's made of. I'm not going to say it cause I don't want the algorithm to get me, but, uh, you can get other ones. It doesn't have to be one shape like this, that, but uh, just to get a short mini antenna, uh, like I haven't used FM radio in forever, um, but I don't really, really need it. But these things uh, look way much better. Did I say way much better? That's all. That's, that sounded awful. <laughs> this look much better. Uh, but like all this other stuff, makes a huge difference in your day-to-day -day lives. The stuff not falling off the back seat, not scuffing up your console, being able to see at night. Um, being able to hook up your, your trailer and disconnect it easier without having to jam that thing in there, try to hook it up. So I hope these were helpful. If they were, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, all that fancy mess. And until we see you next time, guys, see you later.